Back here in New York City, Mayor Eric Adams sparking controversy over remarks he made about migrants, appearing to suggest they could fill the city's lifeguard shortage because they are, quote, excellent swimmers. Take a listen. If we had a migrant and asylum seeker plan that states those jobs that we are in high demand, we could expedite. How do we have a large body of people that are in our city and country that are excellent swimmers, and at the same time, we need lifeguards? And the only obstacle is that we won't give them the right to work to become a lifeguard. That just doesn't make sense. That quote really doesn't make sense. Adams' administration has faced criticism over its handling of the estimated 180,000 migrants who have arrived in the city since 2022, many of them ending up in the city's already overwhelmed shelter system. For more on Adams' remarks and the state of the migrant crisis in New York City, I'm joined now by Power Malu. He's the executive director of Artists, Athletes and Activists. It's a grassroots organization that connects migrants here in the city with key services, including shelter, food, medical care and legal support. Power, I want to thank you for joining me. I, I want to start with the mayor's comments there. Um, I, I know how I interpreted that, those comments. How did you interpret them? Well, once again, we have an administration that's deflecting attention off of their incompetency and mismanagement and pointing the finger at the migrants. At any given press conference, you'll have this administration blame the migrants for the financial woes of this city. And on that same breath, they'll praise and say the migrants should be allowed to work because they can help us. Yeah, I, that, I, I get that. But I also want to talk about just sort of painting with a very broad brush that the migrants in New York are all great swimmers. Where, yeah. where would he get that from? Unless it had something to do with crossing the Rio Grande or, or it, because some of them may come from places like Cuba or Haiti or, or another island. Regardless, it's incredibly racist. And I am shocked and really upset that there hasn't been more sort of um, outrage in this city, a city that, that, that claims to be progressive, a city that claims to protect people from all nationalities, and, and no one really cares about this. Yeah, we have uh, an administration that is constantly doing things like this, and it gets brushed under the rug. Um, also, this mayor says that people attack him because he is black or African-American. So what we are having here is just excuse after excuse as to why you're not dealing with the migrant crisis. And what I want to say is that there are plenty of grassroots organizations that have been supporting since day one. And this administration has constantly said that there is no resources, but there are abundance. There's do you, abundance of resources. Do you think a mayor who could make a comment like that has an understanding of who these people are and where they come from? Because they really come from, from all over the world. Absolutely. This is stereotyped. This is, you know, a mayor that is not in touch with what's going on. We've been on the ground since day one. There are people that cross from Africa, from Afghanistan, from Latin America. They're from all over the world. So to just say that people that are here are great swimmers is a poor comment. Do you but think it was it was literally connected to them crossing the Rio Grande? Do you think that's what that's where the that logic came? I don't even know where the logic comes from. So you're talking about a mayor who said that these migrants are the issue that's going to crush New York City. That's what he said at another town hall meeting. Yeah. So you can't listen to the things that he says because this administration are spin masters. They always try to find a way to deflect attention. Where do you get migrants are great swimmers and they're going to save the situation with the pools and the beaches? You should have been thinking about this a year ago when that problem existed. Yes, of course, they're skilled when they come here and they're looking for work and they deserve work, but it doesn't happen by osmosis. Our organization has been helping them file for work authorization and asylum, and they can't even get their mail because they're constantly being moved from shelter to shelter. Let's deal with the root of the problem. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.